a secret. Hey, Mike. Hey, Jim. Here we are again. Yes, one more time. One more. This is it. The last one. Uh, well, no. Oh, okay. Not, just, not one last time. time. One additional, more time. An additional time. An additional time. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, we are McAdoo Perkins. I'm Jim Perkins. Mike McAdoo. And uh, we are here just to do another little uh, show that we've been doing the last three weeks or so. And that is uh, basically called Music and Memories, Memories and Music. We just have both been in the music business for a long, long time and have some stories, shared stories and uh, tales of what it's like being on the road and playing in Branson and Good. We even have some stories that we can tell. Uh, yeah, there's a few. <laughs> there's more. We're saving that for the tell-all book. The tell-all book, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which will tell all. Uh -huh. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that'll be that'll be good. But yeah, uh, I was thinking we had a good time at show days. You know, I was there a couple of years, and you played with them years before that. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The eighties. Um, back when your hair was shorter and darker. Shorter. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but. Uh, I remember on two different occasions, I think it was in the same season, that they would have me uh, come out and do a, a country song, recognizable country song. Mm -hmm. And then uh, on two different occasions, I remember, and you may remember too, the, the artist who actually wrote in the song, and in some cases recorded it, but wrote the song, was in the audience, and I didn't right. know that. So I actually got to sing their song for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember the first one was Johnny Russell. Remember Johnny Russell? I remember Johnny Russell. Big hits, then, if you remember. Well, let's see. Spot. Yeah, put me on the spot. The one uh, that I can remember that uh, you actually did that day that you didn't know he was there and you sang uh, the, the Beatles tune. Uh, Act, Naturally. Act Naturally. which yeah. Buck Owens did. And you said later on Buck and uh, Ringo did it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ringo did it with the Beatles. Uh, Buck, I think, just on B side of a 45. And, and then. Uh, Buck had a big hit with it in the sixties. Yeah. And then uh, and then I sang it and things kinda of went down from there. But then <laughs> Buck and Ringo did a, their own uh, version of it. So if I'm remembering correctly, however that was that was your first song of the show that you sang, right? Right. And, and then and then we realized then they introduced Johnny Russell and he got up on stage and then we had to do it again, right? Yeah. Same uh, song. <laughs> he had a number of hits uh Rednecks, White Socks, and Blue Ribbon and Beer. Yeah. That's another one of his mm -hmm. great songs. He was a great songwriter. A lot of other people did his tunes uh, right. uh, as well. But he got up there, and if you know Johnny Russell, he was rather large. and Portly. Portly. He was extremely portly. Yeah. And uh, made fun of himself all the time about it. In fact, when he, he got up, they kept asking, what song do you want to do? And he said, I guess I'll do the same song that Skinny Little Fella did <laughs> earlier in the show. Cause that's my biggest hit. Right. And he goes, where's that skinny guy? And, Pulled me out on stage with him and goes, Look at us standing here with a plug at number 10. <laughs> Remember that? I get that, yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. he was the zero. And you would have been the one, at, right? Back then I was the yeah. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, anyway, so he ended up uh, doing a song. And of course, you must have got warmed up by then because you seemed to play it a heck of a lot better. I was inspired. It sounded when I, way better when I saw the songwriter, yeah. Uh, when the songwriter came out, I actually tuned. <laughs> <laughs> So that's why I was trying to sing towards your tuning. That's why I was flat and sharp. Yeah, all over the place. When yeah. You go, mm. Every song. You covered the musical aspect. I sure did. Every note. You don't have to play an E flat. You do an E and I'll flatten myself. So <laughs> that's an old one. Uh, but then another time, I uh, came out. We used to do Broadway segments. You remember? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Dorothy DeBucci liked all these Broadway and dress up stuff. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Big hit. First half of the show, usually. Uh, and one particular one, we did a couple songs from Big River. And uh, that was a, the musical that Roger Miller wrote, put to music to either Huck Finn or Tom Sawyer. I can't remember which mm -hmm. one. Uh, yeah. But he won a couple of Tonys for it. I mean, yes. It a big deal. Big deal. I think the Grammy too for that mm -hmm. for the album. But they had me do one of the songs called uh, Waiting for the Light to Shine that Roger had written. And before it, I had to do this goofy speech, you know, Doug Garnett, and I had a... Mm -hmm. uh, What's that? A pipe? No, not a pipe. A, a straw. Oh, straw. Chewing yeah. on a straw or mm -hmm. something. It was goofy, and and I just speak like a Ozark hillbilly kind of. So that would yeah. Be cool. Said something about Huckleberry Finn or yeah. Huckleberry or something like that. Yeah. And then I sang the song. So I get done the same thing every night. And I uh, actually was intermission. I'm walking back to the dressing room and I go in the hall, and there is Roger Miller himself standing at Shoji's doorway, waiting for him to come to his dressing room. 
And I said, oh my gosh, Roger, you know, uh, I can't believe it. Just, you're, the, you're the kid that sang that my song tonight. I go, yeah, yeah, I did, I apologize. No, it was, I, it was a good job, good job. It was, I was coming back in the can and I heard some dialogue, somebody talking. He said, man, that stuff sounds familiar. And then I remembered, I wrote that stuff. <laughs> and uh, but he gave me kudos, and uh, yeah. which I got rid of later. <laughs> some point I had the kudos one time. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's right. close. But it was cool just being able to, to uh, sing and uh, a song to the guy who wrote it. No kidding. Maybe yeah. someday someone will sing a uh, Mike Lee Perkins song at a big show that works. Mm -hmm. You think so? Uh, yeah, we'll be like 109, but maybe that'll happen. Yeah. We lived that long. Yeah. <laughs> you know. That's right. Never know. Not up to us, is it? That's right. It's not up to Let's us. do a Roger Miller tune. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, Key of C. Let's do C. Yeah. All right. Not C flat. Just, just C. Let's just try it and see. C major. Okay. Okay. Kick it off, which dog? cross-eyed girl until I found out she was seeing somebody on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three. 